In this video, we're going to take a look at an example of user datagram protocol. For that, do open up these two files, sender and receiver under the package UDP. Unlike TCP, UDP is unreliable. I mean, once it sends a packet, it does not have a track of it. It does not ensure the order of packets delivery or if the packet will ever get delivered or not. We'll talk about the scenarios where uh, UDP would make sense, but first let's take a look at this simple example. So we have the sender and the receiver. Before you send a packet of information, we call it datagram packet, you need to create one. The packet constitute some information. In this case, we're trying to send this particular string. The way we do it is by creating the instance of this uh, class datagram packet and its constructor is going to take these four arguments. In the first argument, we're encoding the string to bytes and then the length of the message, which would be the length of the string itself, and then the IP address. Uh, make sure that this, this should be in the format of inet address. This shouldn't be a string. The inet address class has a lot of uh, methods that would help you uh, do a variety of things. For instance, if you do get by name, then uh, it would fetch the IP address associated with this uh, host name. So you're going to provide that as well as the port number to where you want to send the data. Receiver's IP address and the receiver's port number. But how do you send this information? Is by creating an instance of datagram socket. You're going to create a socket so that now we can send the data. And ultimately after you do that, you're going to close that socket. On the receiving end, you're going to create a socket by binding a port number. In this case, it's port number 5000. And then you're going to create an empty datagram packet where you can store the message that gets received from the sender. Once you do so, we're just going to simply display it and close the stream. So let's see how this works. We need to run the receiver first because the receiver needs to be ready before we send the information. Let's run this program. It's running. And then from sender, we send the data. Got received. So UDP is also called as fire and forget protocol, which means it's just going to send the data and it doesn't bother whether it gets delivered or not. That's because it's not going to establish any kind of a connection with the receiver or the sender. Hence, as a result, the state is not maintained. So when do we actually use UDP protocol? Say that you are providing a music streaming service and your server is streaming live music over the network. In this case, you would better use UDP because even if some bits of information is missing in the stream, that's okay, user cannot figure it out. But if you're using TCP, there is an additional overhead of making sure that the data is getting delivered and that would cost a lot of bandwidth. And not only that, that may cause fluctuations in audio. So there are pros and cons for both the protocols. You need to just choose them wisely. In fact, in some applications, they both are mixed. For example, you are playing an online game, say Call of Duty with your friend. You both chat each other on a chat window. The chat communication takes place with TCP, whereas the game streaming takes place with the help of UDP. Hope that makes sense. See you in my next video.